Philip Curie won it last year. Seven runners for this year's race are named by Simon. Number one is Dancing Paddy, the mount of Norman Williamson, currently showing at three to one. Number two, Cardi, Adrian Maguire, looking for some consolation after Viking flagship's defeat. Seven to four favourite, Cardi. Number three, Montebell, Tom Jenks at five to one. Number four is the rank outsider, Pennine Pass, a hundred to one chance, Paul Holly. And number five is Tug of Peace at 16 to one under Tony McCoy. Number six, Brief Gale. Philip Hyde at four to one, and she looked really well, got the best turned out award. Number seven, Juliet Jones, Mick Fitzgerald at 16 to one, seven runs. Now, while we were on the break, the lads were getting the eye catches in. Let's see what's positive and what's negative. Cardi was positive in the paddock. Brief Gale is positive on the course, going down. That's the one Simon picked out as going down well. And in the betting ring, well, Big Mac reports good money for Cardi. The negative one is Dancing Paddy in the betting ring. I, I must say, I like the look of Montebell in the paddock. A very interesting race. Let's have a look at Cardi. This is the hot favourites in the yellow with the black hoop sleeves. Let's join Alistair Down and John Franklin. Well, it can't be soft enough for Cardi. Graham was like the SOM when he won at Aintree last year. And he's really hit form when he at Sandown at Toaster. You'd have to say there were softer races than this today. But he's looked as if he's grown into a real professional, John. And he certainly looked to enjoy it last time, and he'll love this ground. He looked in good form with himself earlier on, and it was interesting to hear Adrian Maguire say it on the morning line that um, he felt that the horse's confidence has grown over the last two or three runs. Because strictly on the form, he's got plenty to find with uh, Brief Gale. She beat him quite decisively earlier on in the season. That was her first ever run over fences. She's had uh, one since, where she finished behind Dancing Paddy over a trip that's probably too short for him on the ground. Well, Dancing Paddy, the problem here, and the punters have latched onto it in the ring where Matt reports it as a negative, is jumping. Fell last time out in Auburn Castle's race at Nottingham. Before that, it had a decisive victory over Gales Cavalier, and for my money, it looks if he was going to come and beat Gales Cavalier at Ascot previous to that, but fell and was remounted. Jumping is the problem with Dancing Paddy, and these fences at Kempton, they do take some jumping for a novice. Well, Montebell fell at Cheltenham earlier on this season, very early on, a really unlucky novice last year, third to Denoli, jumped particularly well, jumped as well as any novice I've seen um, on a first run here earlier on in the season and uh, should be just about right. Pip High Riser, Josh Gifford's horse is just coming into form. It's a fascinating uh, Pendle novices chase. Let's join Simon. Down to the first of 17 fences. Montebell towards the outside of Brief Gale. And on the inside in the noseband, Julie Jones. Now they want to be going very steady here. Cardi, seven to four, the favorite. Dancing Paddy, three to one, who's currently towards the rear. Brief Gale at four to one, Montebell at fives, and 16 to one bar. They take the second and already quite strung out. The conditions really searching here at Kempton today and they've gone off pretty quick. Juliet Jones taking a keen tug in the lead from Montebell, then Brief Gale. Towards the outside is the favourite Cardi and they're followed by Tug of Peace and then quite a gap to the other two. Dancing Paddy has uh, got a bit further than he got at Nottingham last week and racing together with Pennine Pass towards the rear. Over the next and Juliet Jones was the leader from in second Montebell and if he wants better ground, he won't find uh, any today here. In third is Cardi, Brief Gale towards the inside, followed in fifth by Tug of Peace, and then a ten-length gap to Pennine Pass and Dancing Paddy, ridden right off the pace. So they swing right-handed into the straight on this first circuit, and it's uh, Julie Jones that's cutting out the donkey work from in second Montebell, then the mayor Brief Gale towards the inside under Philip Hyde, Adrian Maguire taking a wider route on Cardi from Tug of Peace as they take the first in the straight. And the leaders jump it soundly. The last two continuing to be Dancing Paddy and Pennine Pass. The middle one up the straight, another plain fence. Julie Jones on the inside, didn't take it too well and the rider did well to hang on there. He was waving to his granny though, and Montebell takes over. Montebell from Julie Jones, Brief Gale in third, Cardi the outside from Tug of Peace. A gap to Dancing Paddy and Pennine Pass over the next Montebell. Oh, he hit the top hard and he's down. Montebell the fooler in front of the grandstands. And Tom Jenks is still on the deck. Oh no, he's just thrashing the ground with his whip. He's an angry young man. 
Uh, he looks all right. If he's got the energy to thrash the ground, he's OK. So they swing away from the grandstands now, and Juliet Jones is the leader from Brief Gale in second, Cardi out wide, followed by Tug of Peace, then Dancing Paddy, who's much closer now, and then the riderless Montebell from Pennine Pass. Approaching the water jump, it's number eight, and Juliet Jones continues to make it from Brief Gale and Cardi, and then uh, in behind them, Tug of Peace from Dancing Paddy and Pennine Pass getting a little remote towards the rear. Another plain one, number nine, at which Juliet Jones led from Brief Gale, the mayor, and Cardiff on the outside, the right-hand side of picture. Tug of Peace next in red and black colours. Dancing Paddy's travelling smoothly green on the left as they take an open ditch at which Julie Jones paddled and only just got to the other side. Pennine Pass well adrift and now they're about to swing right-handed into the back straight. So Julie Jones with Brief Gale now moving up on the outside to perhaps take over. Cardi next in the red cap and then a gap of two or three lengths to Tug of Peace and Dancing Paddy and Pennine Pass is well out of it as they take this right hand turn into the back four fences down here in front of them there's uh, three plain fences and an open ditch the first is a plain one and brief gale stepped up from two miles to two and a half miles here this afternoon she's lobbing along merrily in the lead cardi goes second tug of peace wide the early leader julie jones is now feeling it a bit from dancing paddy the first in the back straight brief gale landed first cardi in second and then Dancing Paddy moving forward. There's the SPs again. Cardi, the 7-4 to four favourite. Dancing Paddy, 3-1. to one. Brief Gale, 4s. Montebell at 5s. As they take the next, it's an open ditch. A big jump by Brief Gale on the inside of Cardi. But Cardi is hard on the steel at the moment. As they race towards the next, it's number 13. And Brief Gale near side. On the outside of the mare is Cardi. Dancing Paddy goes third. Then Tug of Peace as they take this one. And a good jump by Dancing Paddy on the outside there. Uh, a rather worse jump by Tug of Peace who blundered through it. They approach the last on the far side and Brief Gale and Cardi in the air together. Cardi the slightly better jump. Dancing Paddy is fairly swinging on the outside of those and then a gap of 8 or 10 lengths to Tug of Peace as they now leave the back straight behind them. Looking right back, Julie Jones is uh, only cantering and I can't see Pennine Pass at all. That's been pulled up in fact. They begin the right hand turn into the straight then with three fences to go and Cardi is a half length leader from Dancing Paddy. Both these horses on the bridle. Brief Gale has come off it in third place and been booted along by young Philip Hyde. They're post the third last then and it's Adrian Maguire on Cardi on the far side. Dancing Paddy and Norman Williamson coming to challenge. Dancing Paddy led. Cardi wasn't so clever on landing. They're pulling clear of Brief Gale in third place. A long yawning gap to Tug of Peace. Two left to go. Dancing Paddy by a length to Cardi approaching this one. Dancing Paddy took a chance there and Cardi's got another chance in second place. Brief Gale back in third, forget the others, one left to go, Cardi revelling in the muddy conditions on the far side, Dancing Paddy may be coming to the end of his tether now, then Brief Gale in third, the final fence coming up, Cardi and Dancing Paddy at it together, Dancing Paddy only just clambered over, Cardi staying on strongly, they're really tired here at Kempton, struggling home, Brief Gale's rallying in third, Cardi's only walking, Brief Gale is rallying on the far side to get it up, out of the clouds, Brief Gale from his second Cardi in third then Dancing Paddy a long gap then to Tug of Peace and those are the only four to finish because Julie Jones came to grief at the second last well what odds Brief Gale at the final fence certainly not four to one you'd have wanted longer than that she looked uh, set for third place at best it appeared that both Cardi and Dancing Paddy had beaten Josh Gifford's mare off but uh, Staying's the name of the game here at Kempton today. They're really testing conditions, and she looks a prime candidate now for the summer.